we purchased this land to create the new home of RMA. Soon after we started to design, the land informed us that actually it was better suited to a residential project, and so we changed course. Then I realised it was going to be the new home for my family, and that was ultimately as important, if not more important, than creating the next RMA studio. It is a truly wonderful place to live. We have panoramic views of the city of Melbourne, the treetops of Armadale, and Port Phillip Bay. So it's pretty special. There's so much joy in studying other people's work when you discover a design that's exceptional. I was inspired by Palazzo della Civelta, my favourite building, probably. And that's because it's so strong, it's pure, it's elegant, it's a beautiful balance of contemporary and traditional architecture. Mussolini commissioned it, and today it's the Fendi headquarters, which is why it gets so much publicity. Out of respect for the original design, we went in search of our interpretation of it. The building connects the environment on different levels. It depends where you live within the building. So on the ground floor, we've created a garden environment, which you look into behind high walls to separate you from the street. On the first floor, you're above the street. We recess the terraces into the building. And then finally, the penthouse is set in from the four boundaries of the building. And that created space for a terrace, which you can circumnavigate the penthouse. Wherever you are within the apartment, you look into a garden, and that's what makes it so special. Yes, the view beyond is amazing and so on, but it's living with this rich, colourful garden that I think makes the penthouse so livable. This is the first time I've really experimented with colour in each of the rooms. And I did that because Mickey gave me the confidence to do it, in fact worked side by side with me and together we created this interior. The interior also reflects our individual journeys through life and the things that we've found and gathered and brought into our home. And so there's many things found over many, many years. These pieces that we love that represent us and who we are, and we've partnered with great furniture makers and suppliers and so on to create this interior. We were always looking for opportunities. And one day during a site meeting, we rose to the top of the building to check the plant and equipment on the roof and I discovered this most fantastic space that had been left over. And we thought to ourselves, let's recycle it. Let's use it. Let's live up here. It'll give us a quality of experience that we can't have below. It's so important for me to have a view well beyond the place I live, a view of the world. That's the living experience here. It's an essential part of living, I think, to have a sensory experience within the place you live.